Hello everyone and welcome to Big Idea Challenge Ideation Workshop. My name is Victoria Levinskaya. I'm the trainer of the training program uh, Big Idea Challenge Creative Spark. In this workshop, I want to tell you about the main areas of the Big Idea Challenge competition and also the main requirements which you have to meet in order to participate in it. First of all, Big Idea Challenge is organized by uh, London Metropolitan University Accelerator Center, British Council, uh, Uzbekistan and uh, London, LRC, Innovate, and also by Ministry of Innovative Development. I want to tell you that uh, this competition is international competition and also included seven countries, uh, four Central Asian, uh, Caucasian and also Ukraine. So the main champions of each country would participate in uh, London Metropolitan University Accelerator Center for one week workshop and also get cash price up to 3,000 uh, pounds. In this picture, you can see the Accelerator Center. It's a very famous one, which organized by London Metropolitan University in Tech City. You see, uh, the Tech City is uh, one of the biggest uh, technologically advanced place in the world. After uh, Silicon Valley, it has the biggest number of different startups and also technological companies in the world. Uh, UK is investing a lot of money in development of the tech city. So in comparison to other European countries, you see that number of investments in digital tech uh, has, you know, I mean, uh, 7.3 billion pounds. And uh, if you are winner of this program, you would have a possibility to introduce these potential donors who might get interested in your project and you can start right away. Um, this is a picture of the uh, winner of the previous competitions, a Big Idea Challenge from United Kingdom. He has got £30,000 as a cash prize and also he was introduced and uh, was trained how to develop his business further through the London Metropolitan Accelerator program. Okay, what is a big idea challenge? What uh, the main purpose of this program? It has three main areas. The first very big area is social impact. This program already existed for three years in Uzbekistan and most of the projects which were uh, participating in big idea challenge from Uzbekistan were in this category. You can do anything, you can do some health program or you can do some kind of educational program or if you are a specialist in uh, engineering or you want to do some kind of technological advancement you can do like uh, anything uh, connected to water supply improvement or working with the disability people and many other things uh, which you might get in uh, you might be interested in Another category is creative category. Creative industries is one of the most fastly developed industries in United Kingdom. For example, uh, they accumulate a lot of money. For example, last year, uh, this industry has got more than two billion pounds in investments. They include anything which is related to um, crafts, architecture, advertising and marketing, publishing, photography, uh, painting. Our university, I think that is also fits to this category a lot because we have so many creative clubs and so many interest, uh, students who are interested in this category. 
Another uh, very important and also big category is digital technology. Anything which related to AI or web application or programming or creating new robots or hardware, software, Internet of Things can fit into this category. So you can see those three big categories covers eventually almost everything. So any idea, it's always fit to one of the category you have chosen. Um, just want to tell you that uh, from the country, they choose three finalists in each category. It means that nine people, nine teams, nine projects are going to be come finalists. And these final projects are going to the worldwide voting. So they will be uploaded to the British Council website and voters from 142 countries are going to vote for projects which and get introduced to your projects as well. Um, today is our ideation workshop. And the purpose of this workshop to uh, identify participants with the problem, with uh, uh, how to define it, how to uh, find out what would be interesting for potential winners, how to generate ideas, and how to choose the best solution for, for the problem you have identified. This is the three main areas we are going to cover in this workshop. Um, in order to participate, we have trained trainers, uh, four of them from our university. They are champions of the last year and they are also available on request, if you have any, you know, I mean, questions regarding what to do, how to do, you can ask because they have their personal experience that which they are going to share with you in terms of idea development. Um, what you are going to do in the end, you have to pitch. What is a pitch? Pitch is a very short presentation, which lasts only 60 seconds. Sometimes it calls elevator speech because for fast elevators, it takes only one minute to go from one floor to another floor. And if potential donor is uh, in this elevator with you, he or she probably would ask you, what is your idea? And you have to provide a very convincing way to present your idea in those 60 seconds. Okay, so uh, this uh, slide about the winning uh, teams, which were uh, from the previous years, um, you can see um, they all been uploaded, their pitches were uploaded to the Big Idea Challenge pro, uh, pro, uh, page at British Council, and they were sent over the 142 countries for online voting. This is what we are going to get in the end. Pitch, which is video recorded in a very good format with very clear ideas. And this pitch is going to be voted uh, over the internet. Um, the awarding ceremony is organized by the Prince Trust Prince Charles is supervising this project himself and he invites uh, the royal family itself, invites the winners to the palace for awarding. So you might get be, uh, become a noble guest of the royal family if your project would win. <laughs> this is also a very interesting slide about one winner of the previous years. He is a Chinese student, uh, Song Ang, and he's uh, specialized in art. He realized that uh, some artists who are have to go and show their artworks are having difficulties because the back which they're using is not very suitable for the arts. They have to uh, show bring it back, it's quite messy, it takes a lot of time, and sometimes 
uh, artists have to go through all their sketches to find the right one and they can miss the opportunities to present it, uh, you know, fully and uh, in the best way. So he came up with the idea to create a special bag, which would be accommodate uh, artworks of the different architects or artists. And this uh, bag was presented as his startup. Because he was uh, quite familiar with the needs of the artists and the architects, and he also asked a lot of feedback from them, what necessary to do, how it should be designed. And he came up with these nice bags, which are not cheap. They're quite expensive. One is 175 pounds. However, his business became very successful because he was only one on the market who would provide this kind of bag. And uh, become a winner of the Big Idea Challenge now he is a successful businessman who are had a pay, uh, you know who has patented his uh, own uh, product and this product is uh, available on the market quite widely. All right, let's start about big idea. What is your big idea? Uh, in order to start ideation, you have to put yourself into the shoes of those who are experiencing the problem. You have to be empathic. So, if you are decided to do uh, something like with disabled people or with those who are running out of water and they need water supply, whatever, you have to put themselves into their shoes. How painful is their problem? What they usually to doing when they are experiencing the problems? What kind of solution they are finding themselves? How many people experiencing the same problem? How wide your client base is going to be? Um, how much time it takes to solve this problem? And uh, what to do, you know, in order to improve the situation, make it time efficient, make it feasible, make it viable, make it sustainable, and also make it desirable for the group of people who are doing it. So, uh, please think for five minutes about what kind of problems you think you would identify and identify two or three problems which you think that the most urgent needs to be solved in your community, in your house, during your isolation because of the coronavirus, or any other uh, ideas which come to your mind. Please, ideate. Just do anything. Brainstorming, brain writing, you know, put ideas one after another. Spend five minutes for that. Right. Now you have two or three ideas, maybe more. It depends how well you are informed and how well you are, how creative you are. What kind of creative spark do you have? So think about them. Uh, whom we are going to address these ideas? When a uh, we are going uh, to share ideas probably between the pairs. You can share with me if you want or any of our trainers your ideas. And we promise that any crazy idea is going to be accepted. We have no judgment, no crushing. Uh, we have only encouragement and uh, we are going to be very supportive. So please, if you have two or three ideas and you are struggling, not what to choose, share with us. We will provide you with feedback. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, when we are starting thinking about big ideas, we are starting to think about people. Because people 
they're our future clients. They are those who prob uh, problems we are trying to solve. We are not thinking that we are getting information from them. We are thinking on behalf of those whose problem we are solving. And uh, we are coming up with solution and the solution is becoming our big idea challenge, our big idea, and it's becoming our startup. Just want to remind you, when you are solving problems, don't think that customers don't buy products. This market, the global market, is full of the products which are uh, uh, not in demand anymore. However, the best way is to present solution to their problems with the product you are giving. They have problems, you have a solution. That's, you have to think about it. This is a spreadsheet uh, which we are going to share with you. And you can think how you are going to do. So, over here, you have the customers. Those of the problems you are going to solve. Those customers are getting problems. You are offering solutions. And this solution is your big idea. You have to sparkle it. You have to give it them as the only uh, possible solution is the best one. As an example, I want to give you one uh, solution which was presented by London Metropolitan University. London Metropolitan University is one of the most international one. It is a university which has the biggest number of international students among all 85 London universities. So uh, majority of those uh, students, they might be just international students or recent immigrants or refugees. So London Metropolitan University is famous of accepting all kind of diversity among students. So. Because uh, it is highly international, they found out that international students are very lonely in London. They don't know what to do. They don't know how to, you know, I mean, walk around, how to, uh, f you know, go around that, where to find the, uh, you know, uh, shops, where to find the, uh, place uh, where they can clean their clothes and stuff like that. So they're feeling quite helpless. And that was their main problem. The recent visitors to London, they're just getting lost in this big city. So the, uh, this problem was identified and the solution to this problem was suggested by uh, London Met student that why not to link them up with locals? Locals, British, they know everything about London. They know how to buy cheap stuff, where to buy, how to go, what to do. And uh, as a big idea, they created a special app which, co uh, which called Link Up and it was linking locals, British, with foreigners, newcomers. This application was very successful and uh, initially it was downloaded for free. However, uh, when the number of uh, uh, downloads become more than 5,000, they started to take money and this business become very profitable. So, uh, when they were thinking about what to do, they first think, thought about their customers. Customers were foreign students who came to study in London at London Metropolitan University. Problems. They have language barriers and they have no local knowledge. Uh, and this problem is not only uh, who are coming to London Metropolitan University, but it's a universal problem for everybody who is coming to study in London or any British city. 
So, they created as a solution application to body up with the local people. Initially, this startup started in London Metropolitan University. However, it was, you know, I mean, extrapolated to any university in UK. And now those who are using this application is more than 10,000. So, by your big idea, local link up, special application. You see, um, we are just using keywords. Why? Because our pitch is only 60 seconds. We have to just give the essence of our idea and we have to emphasize it. So, please, uh, use the previous spreadsheet and uh, those problems which you have identified and brainstormed, think about the solutions. So, use the spreadsheet from up to bottom. Think about your clients, think about your problems, think about your solution and your big idea. Start doing it, please. What are you going to do? Is it a product or it is service? If it is application, it is a service or it is a product as well. Think about what kind of category you want to do. Creative category, social category, or digital category. Please uh, divide your uh, ideas accordingly. If you have idea, start at the top. If you uh, got idea, start at the bottom. Among all ideas, please check. Are they feasible? Are they vi viable? Are they, or they are desirable? These three main criteria you have to think. Desirability, it means that what your clients want. Feasibility means that you would be able to make it with help of those 3,000 pounds which you are receiving. And viability, it means that this idea is not going to be solved only once, but it can be extrapolated to number of clients who are experiencing the same problems. And it means that your idea is going to be sustainable. Um, based on these three criteria, select a winner, choose the strongest idea and the strongest solution which you got. If you are doing in your team, I want to tell you that in Big Idea Challenge, there is a possibility for teams to participate as well. It can be from one to three participants. So vote for the favorite idea and uh, among your team members. Uh, next step, now we got an idea what to do with this, how to develop it further, how to make a pitch. This is a special sp spreadsheet which is given to you. It looks like a snake and it looks big idea challenge pitch builder. The first part of the problem is, the first part of the pitch is the problem. So you have to give in few words, in few keywords, tell what is the problem, support your problem with statistics, with the story and the situation. Don't create the story. Create something which uh, based on the real life example. So if you want to talk about Think globally, but act locally. If you want to think about the water supply, think about particular Kishlak, which experiencing this problem, 
and think about the inhabitants of this Kishlag, what they are doing in order to solve the problems and how you can help them. You can give statistics that, you know, in Uzbekistan, there are 75% of such Kishlaks which are experiencing problems with water supply. Or give any other story that my grandmother, who was living there for 75 years, you know, I mean, much of the time spent by taking water from a special water pitch and bringing home. It takes her 45 minutes, but my solution will allow her in two minutes or in one minute to get access to the water. So if you will give something which is very specific, very concrete, based on statistic, based on the example, it will give you a lot of value to the problem. It will show that the problem has not been invented, but it is a real life problem and you are providing the real life solution. Your solution, give it a name. What is give it a name to the solution? Five liters of water in one minute or link it up. Yes, as we say, so solution has to have a viable name. So it has to be understood. What are you going to do? So last year winners, they've been doing business glossary. Business glossary is the name of the solution, is the name of the project, and it's absolutely understood what the project is about. So, instead of uh, giving explanation, give the term. That's going to be your name. Your customers. Who is experiencing the problem? Who is your main target group? If it is disabled people, you have to say what is a disability do they have, blind or physical disability. If it is a digital category, name what kind of problem and why you have to invent it. What is the problem? What is your customers, the programmers, the students, the elderly people who have very low information literacy? Be very specific. Always be very specific. Don't be too general. And also think about your potential market, how big it is. If you are thinking about elderly people, you can say that in Uzbekistan, 12% of the population are people who are digitally illiterate. Therefore, uh, among 34 million, it's going to be you know, I mean, several millions, yes, uh, potential customers of your product. But before going that far, think about uh, target group in your community. So, uh, in terms of London in Metropolitan Universities, uh, the students were thinking of helping London Metropolitan foreign students first. So their classmates, their group mates, and they created this application. But potential market become quite big because London and the UK is uh, having like 12 to 15 percent of its student body as international students. So the market for the application was quite, you know, big. So uh, you are starting with very focused, very small target group but you have to show that potentially it has a place to grow and it has uh, some possibilities for growing. This is business, this is not charity, therefore we have to think about making money. Some startups are not very successful just because they didn't have a very clear strategy, how money are going to be made. When you are thinking about it, please think about your potential uh, uh, competitors, because you are working in a market where, which is probably quite full, and you have to find your own niche, which will make you different from your potential competitors. Do a lot of research, please. 
uh, before coming to your pitch, do a lot of research. How market is developed? What are potential competitors? How well they are doing on the market? What kind of problems they are experiencing and why? Think about it. Because if you, they are experiencing the problem, similar problems might be applied to you as well. How are you going to avoid it? Your business plan. Everything should be stated very clearly. And conclusion. Any good company has a slogan. Uh, life good LG, yes? So think about your slogan. Um, this is a final and very, it's a final exclamation mark of your pitch. You have to think about it very seriously because this is how they're going to remember you. What kind of slogan, what you have come up with, use it instead of conclusion. Don't use the summary. You wouldn't have time, but slogan will be remembered. So these five steps are, will help you to develop the pitch. Just want to remind you that pitch is 60 seconds. It should not be boring. Please don't read from the slides or don't read from your notes. If you are reading, you are killing the creativity. And this is creative spark idea challenge. So uh, if you don't believe in your own idea, you wouldn't make others to believe in it. Therefore, be enthusiastic when you are presenting. Be very, very, uh, how to say, confident in what you are doing and be convincing that it is possible to do. This is my uh, advice to you. Give some personality. We will provide you with different pitches which won over the years and all of them are different. Everybody was trying to do it quite originally by using some special methods which belongs only to this person who was presenting. Make it memorable because um, when you will go for online voting, remember that seven countries are participating and around 100 people from each country would join the competition. It means that 700 pitches would be on the market. Therefore, people should remember only yours in order to vote for this. Therefore, please think about it carefully. What kind of words you are using? What kind of uh, images you are using? What graphics you want to add? What music you want to add if it is necessary? And what is the slogan? What is your final thought? Please. It is 60 seconds. We are going to time it. If it is 61, you will not meet the requirements of the competition. You will not be able to participate. Um, so, guys, this is my advice to you. Do the ideation first, do the pitch builder, and uh, uh, please, if you are a team and you have two or three, give to everybody possibility to talk. Everybody who should have his or her uh, equal share. Prepare your pitch and send us for feedback. We will tell you what is working, what is not working. However, participating in bootcamp will allow you to uh, develop your pitch further and make a masterpiece out of it. I really hope that this year it would be the same as last year. Westminster student is going to be a winner of Big Idea Challenge. Thank you very much and waiting for your questions. Thank you,